Hello everyone, my name is Segundo Correas with the Magic Department at MDC and today we're going to be doing a quick model of a box. We're going to use some of the tools that we saw in the previous video and after that we're going to UV unwrap the box so we can move into Substance Painter to do the texturing. Okay, to start let's create a box, a cube. Let's, uh, let's scale it up by pressing R and scaling it from the center so it's the uh, same size everywhere. Let's move it up a little bit. And we have different options. Uh, we can work on each side on its own, but since every side is going to look the same, there's no point in doing that. So we can use symmetry. Symmetry works by selecting which axis we want to symmetrize. So if we click X and we go to faces, you can see that if we select this one, it's going to select the other one because it's doing the symmetry in the X axis, right? If we select this one, then it's not going to select anything else because it's trying to symmetrize on the X axis and we don't have anything here. So if we want to symmetrize this side, we need to select the C axis, the blue one. So go to object C. And same thing with the top. To symmetrize that one, we need to select Y. And there you go. So we can do that, like each side on its own. Or we can uh, create one of the sides of the box and then duplicate that item, that object, and then combine it. We are going to use that option just because we got, we, we're going to use multi, more uh, more tools that way so we can, uh, you know, see how they work. So let's turn symmetry off uh, and let's uh, make one of the sides first. So I'm going to go to scale. I'm going to hold shift to extrude. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Now W for move. Same thing, extrude and I'll extrude inwards. That way we have the sides of the box, right? And since we don't want the whole box, we just want the side box, we can bring that in. Okay, uh, next step, let's make some planks. So first we can Select this and detach it from the from the rest of the model so we can work on that. Let's select the top and the bottom edge. We move to edge, select both, and hit connect. Let's change the amount of segments to C3. Yeah, I think three works. Let's press to confirm that. Now we can select those three edges and bevel them. Where is it? Bevel, reduce the fraction. We just want to make the separation in between the, the blanks and that's good. down a little bit, same here, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, actually if it's not the same, if it's it's even better, so we have mm -hmm. some uh, some difference between the, the blanks, it's not going to be like super evident, but it's fine. Uh, and same thing, extrude inwards, so we have this division between each blank. And you can see that we have a face back here that's bothering us a little bit. So let's go back to object mode or click here too. Let's go back to our other object and select that. Let's bring it back a little bit. We don't see the back side of that panel. Always if if 
if you just want to see this object without seeing everything else, you can always select the object that you want to isolate and hold Shift and I, and it isolates it. You know, if you want to check if everything's fine, like no errors in your modeling. In fact, we can, if we want, bring that back. It's fine. To go back, you just click anywhere and hold Shift I again, and it goes back. All right. Let's um, let's let's make these edges a little bit rounder, because there's no uh, actually ninety those perfect ninety degrees. Those don't really exist, other than like those. Let's um. Let's make the edges rounder. Usually you don't find perfect uh, perfect 90 degree edges in real life, so you know give it a little bevel. You can increase the segments. Make it a little rounder. We'll get that that little uh, border so the render is gonna be a bit uh, beautiful, more beautiful, because you won't like just cut there. You get, we'll get a, a, a little um, shine here in the edge. We can do the same thing with the inner edge. We don't have to go crazy with this. It's gonna be a simple model, but uh, in fact, this one I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna give it uh, a rounder finish. Of course, we can do the same thing here. You just gotta be careful because whenever you do this, it might create. Let's, let's do it in isolate mode. Um, it might create uh, angles. So we we have to try to avoid angles. They're not like the end of the world if you get one, but uh, in this case, it's fine. Create a couple triangles, I believe. Uh, if if we want to zoom in there and we have and we have travel, we can remember that we can select th that one of those little edges and press F and go closer to it. So we can see that it's fine. It's just a couple of triangles. Actually, no. Uh, this here, you can see that is this is an angle. We don't really need this. So we can remove this. If we're not going to be seeing that. So let's go ahead and remove all of them. There you go. Last one. Yep. Control C to go back. So we don't really delete something that. We don't want to delete. And let's see how this looks. So now we can see that we have this uh, hole here. We can either um, connect this here, or we can just go ahead and isolate this and extrude it. Extrude it inward. And that's it. Should be fine there. That way we don't have to see the hole. There you go. Now it's fine. Okay, now that we're done with one of the faces, let's uh, let's create the UVs for it. So we don't have to actually go ahead and, and make the UVs for each one of them. Let me select everything. Let's go to automatic. We'll get something like this, which is fine, but we might want to tweak it a little bit and make some changes. First of all, I don't want this um, whole thing connected, so let's divide it in, on the edges. So and let's click, let's go to here to cut and sew and cut it. Uh, 
Let's see, that part is fine. I don't want any unnecessary cuts. You can see that everything that is white is something that is cut. And what is not, it's uh, stick together. So we can see, like actually go ahead and select these faces, right? And we can see them right here. We can see that these three faces correspond to these three faces. And go ahead and select this one. And this one is these two faces, right? So I think this is mostly fine. Let's go ahead, select it all. Since we did some cuts, let's uh, go ahead and click unfold here under unfold. Let's orient shells and click on layout. It's always uh, good to go ahead and do a cleanup just in case. And let's fix faces with more than four sides. Non-manifold geometry. Edges with seal length. And let's click the cleanup. And some folders stay out just in case. We had we had some little changes apparently when we did the cleanup, so there you go. And let's go back to object mode. Let's put this in the center. Let's uh, center the pivot, clear history, and freeze transformations. Port our object as an OBJ for selection. Go to assets, export, box face, yes, but new one. Um, okay, now we have our face ready to be textured, but we can also go ahead and start duplicating it to create what would be our box, which is basically six of these objects. Uh, let's just Put it right here. Let's find uh, these two and do the same thing. One hundred and eighty. I'm doing this in the channel box just to be more precise with the angles. Uh, let's combine it all and let me take one of these extracted let's make the base Again, let's go back to channel box. Let me, let's make sure we are doing this correctly. And let's put it down. And for the last, for the top part, we can either put it up there or we can put it on a side like we have an open box. There you go. So we only had to create one of the set, one of the faces, and we can actually go ahead and like make box like this. We can also um, break the box apart in the 
in the game engine or here in Maya if we want an animation and make it fall apart we can also do that okay we have all, everything prepared for our next video and we will be doing the texturing on that one thanks